Black gave Householder a maximum 20-year sentence for the racketeering conspiracy charge. A federal jury convicted Householder of that in March. Prosecutors convinced the jury Householder led the $60 million bribery scheme to help get a $1.3 billion bailout passed for the first energy company. Householder and his lawyers appealed to Black for a lenient sentence, with Householder himself pleading for less time, not for him, but for his family and his wife. But that did not deter Black, who called Householder a power-hungry bully who was in it for himself. He also discarded defense arguments that any misstatements Householder made from the stand were not lies or perjury. I don't buy it, Black said, adding it defies logic. U.S. Attorney Kenneth Parker said he hopes the sentence acts to deter future corruption. The tenets of democracy call for integrity, transparency, everything that you're supposed to hold high and dear. And so if an individual believes that they can tread on that, they can step on democracy, then we'll address them. Judge Black took the unusual move of having Householder remanded directly into custody and sent directly to prison, saying the patience of the court and of the public had worn out for the former House Speaker. The case is under appeal, but Householder will now have to mount that appeal from prison. In downtown, James Pilcher, Local 12 News. Now, a federal jury convicted the former head of the Ohio Republican Party, Matt Borges, on the same racketeering charge as Householder. Judge Black will sentence him coming up tomorrow.